I C H A E L, last of B U L L O C K, with the Austin Police Department Public Information Office. Oh, today at approximately midnight, officers responded to a nature unknown urgent call here in the 1100 block of Cumberland Road. The initial call text indicated that a individual had called in reporting a potentially deceased individual here at the park, but very limited other information was provided. So when officers arrived on scene, they began checking the area. As they were driving around, they were flagged down by an individual who directed them to a vehicle that was on the north end of the park. As officers went to go check on that vehicle, they discovered a male individual inside of the vehicle who appeared to have suffered trauma to his body. And after EMS arrived on scene, that male was later pronounced deceased here at the scene. Uh, with the help of APD patrol officers, APD canine officers, and DPS troopers, we were able to locate one individual who has been detained um, at this point in time, potentially related to this incident. So at this point in time, we don't believe that there's any ongoing threat to the public, but as we always do, we're asking anyone that saw anything or heard anything, please do contact us either through our homicide tip line or through Crime Stoppers. The Crime Stoppers number is 512-472-TIPS. That's 512-472-8477 or our homicide tip line at 512 477 Three five eight eight. Again, at this point in time, we do have one individual detained. One individual is deceased. Uh, we are working to interview as many people as we possibly can, but this is currently being investigated as our 50th homicide of the year. Is he detained or is he arrested? Only detained. We don't have anybody that's currently under arrest. Got it. And was there anyone in the car with the victim? Uh, as far as I'm aware, we only had one individual that was located inside of the car. Well, I mean, was there another a witness or anything with him? Or? We have reports of, you know, people that were in the area at the time, so we're interviewing as many people as we possibly can that potentially witnessed what happened. Got it. And then was he found in his home, or where was the, uh, the suspect found? Mm -hmm. Uh, the suspect, I, I don't know the exact location where the suspect was located, but in the same general vicinity. And was the weapon found in the area also? As I, I'm not sure if we've recovered a weapon or not yet. We're still working to determine exactly how the injuries occurred. So what weapon may or may not have been used, we're still working to confirm that. So you're not calling a shooting yet? No, sir. We don't know exactly how the all the injuries were sustained at this point in time. And then he was uh, pronounced on the scene, so he is on the scene? Correct, yeah, the individual was pronounced deceased here at the scene. And was it was he pronounced in a vehicle over there? I'm not sure if he was actually in the vehicle or if they were able to remove him and, you know, perform any life-saving measures or not, but it was here on the scene. Got it. Y'all good? Yeah. All right. Appreciate it, y'all. That's great.